what is up you guys so this video is long overdue because i know i've been getting a lot of messages from people and it's cool by the way like please keep sending me your messages from people who are asking about orthodox stuff like oh like what's it been like you know i'm thinking about going orthodox i'm you know i'm orthodox or i'm you know just kind of wondering what your life is like when you're outside of the orthodox jewish community or ultra orthodox jewish community or whatever your community is and disclaimer i'm not telling anybody to leave their religious community um i'm just telling you about my experience and how it was for me and if you want to or if you don't want to that is all your call and i want it to be easy as possible for you but anyways um i left maybe like five years ago around the same time more five and a half years ago if you count certain things I started doing. It was like kind of like a gradual thing and I did it in DC. Uh, so I waited until after I left my parents' house, moved out of my parents' house after college and was living across the country among people I don't know and felt a little bit of my guard lifted. And that's when I started to like really, really start doing things that classified me as like going off derek, leaving the community, breaking Shabbat, uh, breaking kosher, um, stuff like that. And I just wanted to make this video updating you guys about how everything's changed and lessons that I've learned. So a few things. First of all, um, I think a lot of what happens when you leave the community or before you leave or whatever, when you're thinking about off the derek, a lot of it is really just perspective. There isn't, there's so much that is, doesn't really actually change other than your mindset when you leave the community. It's like, you might be breaking the rules when you're in the community. I mean, I know there's plenty of people who are Orthodox Jewish, who are in the community, who are like ultra Orthodox, who are Hasidish, who are like everything. And they just break a bunch of rules. They're texting on Shabbat. They're texting in the middle of Friday night. They're, they're, um... I don't know, they're sleeping around. They're, but it's not like a constant thing, but for some people it is. And there's all kinds of people. And the idea of leaving is really a mindset. It's like, I'm doing this and I'm declaring to myself and the world that I am breaking rules. It's like, it's like breaking rules without telling anybody or without thinking of yourself as breaking rules. Like you, like when people are going undercover, they kind of convince themselves of certain things so that they can, they can more effectively pretend to be undercover um, versus openly declaring yourself breaking rules. So I really didn't break Shabbat like ever until I started going off the derech. But I know that there are plenty of people who are super from, or like consider themselves super from, and dress the part, and are like just, you know, the most yeshivish, most pious looking and acting people that you'll meet that have broken a bajillion rules. Um, a lot of it is perspective, it's your personality. Like, you know, people always be like, why is it that the most from looking people in high school, like I went to high school with a lot of people that were so good, they broke, they, they, they followed all the rules and they were so perfect when they were religious and when they left, they were just like crazy and all over up the walls, like really intensely left and started cults, literally. Like there was like, I have a friend that I went to high school with, literally, she was, she was perfect. In high school, she just like followed all the rules. A to Z was a teacher's pet. And then when she left, she started a sex cult. I'm not even joking. But I think that has more to do with perspective and personality. This is a person who is very passionate about everything she does. If she's gonna do something, she does it with intention. So if she's religious, she's gonna do it with intention. She's like super all the way. She's gonna follow all the rules. 
and a lot of it is really just her personality. She's like, oh, my teacher said I can't do this, so I won't do this. And I think the problem sometimes is like a lot of teachers and parents won't realize the rules they're putting on their kids or students, how much it affects us. And I know I was like that too a little bit. I was kind of intense, um, not, to, not to the intensity of some of those people. But for me, yeah, I was also one of those kids where like, if you give me a rule, I'm going to try to follow it. Like, and if I don't follow the rule, I'm going to be obsessing over it like the whole day. Like, oh no, my teacher said I'm not allowed to ever touch the internet ever. And if I do, it's the same as worshiping idols, which is punishable by death. And um, like, so I'm gonna be just thinking about it the whole day. I'm gonna walk around like a guilty person, thinking like a guilty person. And if I do want to one day use the internet, I'm gonna like tell everybody that I'm off the derech so that I don't feel like I'm deceiving anybody when I go and use the internet. So it really is not that I'm being different or thinking different than the people in my community. It's just that I have a different mindset around it. Like, like the rules are the rules. There's people breaking the rules inside and outside, but it's just sometimes people, like there's just some people that are more intense. And if you give them, if you throw a bunch of arbitrary rules at them, it's gonna confuse them. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be like hung up on it. And it's like, it's it's like and it, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna compare this again to Nomad Capitalist Andrew Henderson the the founder of Nomad Capitalist he's like totally not related to religion um, but he's like this guy that this entrepreneur guy that left the U S and he he just like he was like oh I hate it I'm I'm moving out of the U S I'm renouncing my U S citizenship and it was the the main the one of the reasons was. And I can totally understand and appreciate this like mentality was he just felt bogged down by arbitrary rules. And he's like very much a rule follower, like almost, almost like, you know, and there's some people that are just like very strictly rule followers, like almost autistically following the rules. I'm not even one of them. But there's some people that are like, if, if you're going to give me a rule, I'm going to follow it to a T. And if I, if, if I don't really have a way of following it, because it's so arbitrary and so vague, it's gonna make me crazy. And I deep down think that's why a lot of people renounce their US citizenship because, or, or any kind of citizenship, but they feel like the rules, and, and in a lot of countries it's like that, where the rules are arbitrary. It's like, depending on who you know, you might get in trouble, you might not get in trouble for certain things. And it's gonna drive, there are certain people that can't handle that because there are certain people that are so intentional. I think that's the word, is intentional. So looking back, and I really didn't realize this at the time when I was religious, but looking back, going off of Dara for me, maybe wasn't even about faith. Like I didn't even know or care what I believed. It, it was, it was just like, it was really just, I think part of it was my personality, like, or my mindset. Like if I'm doing something, I would go all in and I would obsess about it. It's like when people don't, are not, when people aren't able to date more than one person at a time, call me crazy, but if, <laughs> if I'm with someone, my focus is completely on that person. And I know a lot of people like that where they're focused and they're, they, they're intentional and they'll build like so much, they'll think about it a lot. They'll kind of go all in. And when you kind of have like religious leaders that are kind of half-assed, they're like, yeah, do this and do that and do that. And it's like, well, obviously not everybody is doing all these things, especially not the people that are top preaching it to you. And I get it. It's like a lot of times when you're preaching, you're really preaching to yourself. So it's a real thing. But I think sometimes the dishonesty, the huge disparity between what is being preached and what is being practiced really affects the very intentional people. So... I don't know if that makes sense, 
but and our uh, and this video is totally not what I what I intended for it to be which was lessons learned going off there but probably one of the main things that I've learned is that the reason why people leave religion is often due to a personality thing and we we tell ourselves that oh it's because I really believe in blah 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 and I really believe in blah 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 I really believe in blah 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 um at the end of the day I don't care I don't think anyone cares what they believe I think everybody just tells themselves what they believe in order to feel good about things that they do on some level but when you when you and 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 sometimes you know that something is total bullshit like you'll be in a group of people that push a certain religion or, or a certain idea and you're kind of like okay this is kind of fluffy but you don't care because it's a group of people that seem to honestly believe and embrace whatever they're doing and they're happy so you don't care like they're happy or they're successful or whatever they're doing so you don't care so you just want to be there but if they're not then it really affects you and you're like well I don't care if what they're saying is the word of God maybe it is the word of God because because when you're or when you're orthodox or ultra orthodox oftentimes you don't have any other context so you might actually believe that everything that's being said is true. For me, like, I really didn't have a big, huge argument or disagreement with faith at the time. And, and looking back, yeah, I don't believe in things that I used to believe when I was younger because I have more exposure to other things. But at the time, it wasn't about that. Like, I wasn't, I, I don't think, and I did have ex some exposure to things, but I don't think I was really, really, like, oh, I really disagree with, like, Judaism, blah, blah, blah. It was more just like, I just felt like I was, you know, putting all my eggs in a basket of kind of deception. Like, I, I, I didn't think that it, any, if it didn't even feel worth it because you're following a bunch of rules that, like, the people that are even teaching it to you don't even believe it. Like, why, why should you believe it? So... Anyway, I think religious leaders matter. Like the people that are teaching you, your teachers, your parents, like the people that are kind of passing down this religion or thought thing to you, ideology really matters. And being intentional matters. And um, it really makes a difference when you're around people that are just very honest and very intentional, even if it's a sex cult, even if it's like, something that sounds crazy to you right now. If whoever that's pushing it is consistent with their beliefs, if they're really all in and wholehearted, it really makes a difference and you'd be surprised at what some people are gonna embrace, what kind of ideas people will embrace when there's someone who's like totally real and all the way about it. Anyway, that was my speech. I don't even know what this video was titled or called, but, um, off the Dareth lessons, five years later. Cool. See you guys in the next video.